All right, so obviously everyone's that's into martial arts or the UFC especially is talking about this whole Conor McGregor thing after after their uh, most recent fight because uh, it got really personal and uh, you know people jumped into the octagon and it got ugly. You know people were fighting each other and whatnot from opposite teams, camps, etc. Um, you know, and there's lots of hypocrisy and double standards and blah, 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 but that's not what I'm actually here to talk about, because it's good, pretty common sense stuff that we already know Conor McGregor's in the, in the wrong, and it's kind of, you know, whatever. What I'm actually here to talk about is, is just who Conor has become. Because honestly, Conor McGregor needs to be humbled by something, someone, or just life itself. And I'm not saying this out of jealousy or because I'm like mad or bothered by him or whatever. I'm 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 just being honest. Martial artist, martial artist. This Conor McGregor fella needs to get humbled or be humbled by something, someone, or life. The money and the fame have definitely got to his head. Conor McGregor is more so the Kane West of the UFC and martial arts community. Least he forget where he came from and his beginnings. Living off of Ireland's government, which would otherwise be referred in the United States as welfare, welfare or social security income or social security disability income, bridge card, or uh, food stamps, etc., etc. That's where he used to be. Least he forget, that's where he was not too long ago before the UFC. And now he's at where he is now. He even introduced a new whistle. Maybe it's just me, but I didn't forget my humble beginnings. And all through what I've gone through, all that I've seen, all that I've heard, all that I personally have fought to survive through. And of course, where I am in life now. I never let any amount of money or popularity ever get to my head, ever. Doesn't matter how rich I ever get. I could be Bill Gates rich, Amazon rich, and it still won't change how I am. I would prefer to be Amazon Bill Gates rich and still live as I am now. Fun fact, I am more than comfortable financially. I could live in a bigger house, bigger place, a better place, but I choose to live a humble style of life because I don't need a three-story house or, I, or a mansion. I don't need super high-end fancy cars. I don't need that crap. It, that's just flaunting money. That's purely ego. Now, of course, everyone has their preferences, and that's fine. Obviously, most people would want at least, a, you know, a house for uh, them and kids and so on. That's cool and all. But to Conor McGregor's extent, he has gone more than, shall we say, excess and materialism and superficiality and so on and so forth. There is no way he needs those things for sure. But, you know, whatever. I remain the same regardless of popularity, regardless of income, regardless of skill set, regardless of lifestyle, regardless of who I'm friends with or who I'm around. I am me and I always will be. And that's a great, great quality of mine that a lot appreciate. But 
Conor McGregor, on the other hand, is a good example of what you don't want to happen to you. Ego-wise, pride-wise, etc., etc. Mental. Mentally, too. He's, he's borderline, if not fully, narcissistic. Self-centered, entitled, etc. Not to mention, extremely oversensitive. Wow. Anyways, you can still be a decent, respectful individual and have a lot of money and fame. And, you know, it shouldn't change you, but it does. Connor used to be a pretty cool guy. I actually liked him at one point. But the more and more he grew throughout the UFC, the less and less I respected him, the less and less that I liked him, etc., etc. He's become out of touch with reality due to money and fame. He's officially become an overprivileged, out of touch with reality brat who thinks he's above the law, thinks he can do whatever he wants, has become stuck up, superficial, materialistic, everything wrong with what a rich person is. So, more or less, he's just another soul lost due to money and fame. And that's just the sad reality of... There's a few others that I'm more than sure agree with me. I mean, you can be a good fighter, you can be rich, you can have all these things, you can be whatever. But you shouldn't... Also lose your morality, your moral, you know, your morals, your values, your character, your integrity, your respect and consideration for others, tolerance, decent human quality. It's like, okay, now I'm rich, so now I'm going to be the biggest douchebag in the world. I don't get that mentality. It's like he truly has forgotten where he came from, where he started out. And it's sad. Not only that... But Conor McGregor is making a joke out of the martial arts community. He is furthering the stereotype that all cage fighters and all martial artists are just meatheads that are, you know, pumped up with roids and full of themselves, you know, more muscle than brawn, uh, spastics, likely to be abusive. Loud mouths, etc., 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 the list goes on, all because of him. Now, I say that, it's not, and I'm not saying it's just and only because of him, but he's a major influence right now because the spotlight's constantly on him, so he's a prime figure to who everyone's looking up to and everyone's watching and reporting on. So, anyways, um, just from a martial arts instructor perspective, I would be completely just so sad and feeling so bad to see a truly skilled martial artist be such a shitty person. Any real true martial artist knows that through the discipline of martial arts, regardless of style, regardless if it's punching, you know, Muay Thai kickboxing, whether it's karate, kempo, jiu-jitsu, Brazilian jiu-jitsu, uh, sambo, etc., etc. Other than learning the, de the skill sets to defend yourself, to fight in the cage, to get in shape, you also learn a righteous mentality to be a good person, to help others, to be kind, compassionate, uh, most of have character and so on and so forth. You get the idea. You're basically trained to be a better person, a better human to society, to yourself, to your family, to your community, to the world. So with that said, I'm now directing this to Conor McGregor's team his trainers, and his instructor more than all. You all bring shame to the martial arts community by allowing him to be this way. Now, yes, I obviously know that 
you can only lead a horse to water, you cannot force this horse to drink from it. So he's have, he has to have the willing effort to be a better person himself to accept the help, i.e., when the student is ready, the teacher shall appear. I get that. But this doesn't clear you of your problem. The fact that you continue to stay with Connor McGregor says a lot as well. This means you're in it only for the money. You're one of those types of instructors, teams, and uh, trainers. It's really unfortunate, but buy a black belt, you know, you know it's more or less what, what they're doing. They're literally buying an instructor because uh, that instructor has no restrictions other than pay me lots of money and I will be your instructor. That's the only qualifications that is needed. Whereas quality instructors, teams, and trainers have actual guidelines, rules, restrictions, etc. Such as, but not limited to, be a good person. Follow through with what you are being taught. Do not come in here into this dojo or this facility or take under my wing unless you're going to use it only for good. You know, those types of things. It doesn't matter how rich a person could be, if they're a mean person, a mean-spirited individual with bad intentions, it doesn't matter if you throw these quality instructors millions of dollars for one hour of training. They will say no because they are the saving grace to martial arts. These are quality instructors that are in it for the martial arts, not the money, not the popularity, not the fame, not to anything other than the fulfillment of martial arts and knowing that they're doing good for the world and for that person. Unfortunately, what Conor McGregor's team is doing is allowing a bully, that's right, a bully, to become a better fighter. Just imagine this, if you will. There's some, I don't know, 200 pound, 180 pound uh, bully, right? He goes to a uh, martial arts instructor. This martial arts instructor is like, what are you going to do? He's like, oh, I'm going to go pound on some nerds and some weak people and beat up women. He's like, okay. I'll just teach you how to beat them up in a better, more efficient way. Bring them more pain and make, you know, so you can humiliate them a lot more and easier and better and in a fun way. So you're basically invincible. You wouldn't like that for your school, would you? Well, that's what you got with Conor McGregor as of now. Believe it or not, I used to like the guy. I used to actually like Conor. But throughout the years of Conor McGregor becoming more and more popular, bigger, more money given to him, I've quickly lost respect for him more and more and more and started disliking him more and more and more. He brings just as much shame and disgrace as his instructors, his trainers, and his team does. Because obviously they are not in it for the actual martial arts or the competition or anything to really do with the martial arts or the company that he's in. Not even for sports, combat. Combat sports. He's in it for himself and the money and the fame and everything that comes with it. He just wants to fill his ego up because he forgot where he came from. The money has corrupted him. The fame has just blew his ego right out of control. It's really unfortunate. 
can, I don't think his team, his instructors, or his trainer is doing anything to try to lessen that. Any good quality, you know, instructor and trainer and team would have ditched him by now. They would have been like, you are out of control. We don't want anything to do with you. Because anyone that's associated with a spastic like that Oh man, I would not want my kids to be trained by them. Uh-uh. Look at Conor McGregor and how he's being. Would you honestly want whoever's training him or on his team or his personal instructor to train your kid so your kid can become skilled, sure, but also act like Conor McGregor? No. Hell no. That's the last thing I would want. I don't care how good of an instructor you are if, in regard to teaching the martial arts. If you're going to allow him to be a bratty piece of shit, I don't want anything to do with you. And I don't want you training anybody I know. So to get back to point, what I'm, what I'm getting at here is that Conor McGregor is, is literally just fueling the fire for all those people that say cage fighters are just meatheads more bronze than brain, that they're just steroid injected spastics and abusers and intolerant, so on and so forth. Which furthermore brings negativity towards martial arts itself, because martial arts is obviously directed and is literally the main thing for cage fighting, in the UFC specifically, more or less, and all the other, you know, companies like it. but. Main point being is Connor has he's really brought too much negativity to to the martial arts community, to the UFC, and just in general himself. And that's why I am really a, decided to speak on this because of that. Usually, you know, I can understand maybe someone gets really really angry or something you know in the moment type of thing that happens it's cage fighting competitivity ego pride whatever I get it you can't always be 100% perfect shit happens things are said stuff happens whatever but it matters what you do after the fact but there is none of that either again it goes back to the quality training if you had a good quality person training and instructing and guiding you, you wouldn't act like that, the way that Connor does. So say if I was getting fight and I, I lost my cool or something, right? As soon as I composed myself and head cleared, I would, I would go out of my way to go to the person that I lost my temper to and said things I didn't mean or, or whatever. And I would personally apologize to them by whatever means I could. If they were in the area, I would want to personally meet them, uh, shake their hand, apologize, and uh, you know maybe buy them a drink or something. Because that's what mature adults do. We fess up to our mistakes, we own up to them, and we apologize. Unfortunately, Conor McGregor does not follow that. Instead, he just wants to be that bratty, spoiled kid, you know, stuck up with the corruption of the mind, the soul, and the heart. That, oh, I can say whatever I want, do whatever I want, because my ego is bigger than life. Because I'm rich, because I'm famous, because I'm the champion of the UFC. I'm above morality and respect and dignity. And that is where Conor McGregor is right now. He is at the all-time utopian high. And unfortunately, it's bringing him the ultimate disrespect. He thinks he's a hot shot now, but it's only for now. He's all hype, and he's all just shit talk. And I'm glad that he was beat in his most recent fight and the way that it went down. 
he was put down. He couldn't even look at his opponent in the eyes. He looked away from him. All that shit talk, all that ego, all that power tripping, and your ass lost. <laughs> you deserved it, Conor McGregor. All you egomaniacs like that deserve it. <sighs> the last thing that we want is someone like Connor winning. The more he loses, the happier the real, truly quality martial artists get. Plain and simple as that. It's really a sad thing to see happen. But it is what it is, and this is what Connor's become, and the only reason I'm talking about it is because I, I hope that anyone that watches this does not try to emulate him, and that I can bring to light that this is not acceptable behavior in a not a typical martial artist. 99% of us are not like Connor McGregor, and we do not condone his behavior at all. That is that is not a martial arts behavior style or, or personality or mind frame. We ardently, passionately op oppose it. And we, we, we try to make people the opposite of that. So that's something I just want to make that very, very clear is that Conor McGregor is just a unfortunate offspring of what happens when you get too much money and too much fame um, and you lose sight of your own humanity because of it. He's forgotten truly where he's come from. He's, his humble beginnings back back in the day before the UFC when he was on welfare of, of the government out in Ireland. He needs to go back to those days. He needs his money, his fame, everything taken away from him so he can gain his humanity back, if you ask me. But I know that's not how that all works, but it would be a nice, nice thing to happen. He needs to be humbled. But I guess I won't go on any further. I've, I've obviously made my point and my thoughts on him and this topic. And I'm sure I'm going to have a few dislikes because of the whole Conor McGregor fanatics out there that no matter what the guy does, they're like, Conor McGregor, yeah! He could, he could fucking kill somebody and they're like, go Conor, yeah! So I know that, you know, not everyone's going to look at it from an intellectual, logical martial arts perspective. They're going to look at it from, Conor, yeah! Woo! Type of mind frame, but for those who, you know, have a level head and intellectually are sound, I'm sure you get what I mean by this point, so with that said, until next time.